Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Hold Me Back, a Japanese genre bender. You could describe it as a romance drama comedy hybrid from 2020 that was directed by Akiko Oku, the woman who previously directed Tremble All You Want, a fine movie that I just reviewed within the last few weeks. Now the main reason I watched this movie was because I wanted to explore more of this director, and this title is pretty easy to find online. Mitsuko Kuroda is 31 years old and single. One reason why she enjoys her single life is that she has Counselor A in her mind, which is her other self. So whenever she does not know what to do in a particular situation, A gives her the right answers, and she believes her happy and peaceful single life with A will continue. But she falls in love with Tadakun, a salesperson in her office who is a bit younger than her. So yes, the movie begins with our protagonist talking to her imaginary friend. And this is a 31-year-old woman. During the opening half, in particular, the level of innocence that is present in this movie is significant. Like, there's a very wholesome feel to the characters and their interaction in this. You know, this is the kind of movie you watch when you want to, uh, you know, feel good and have a positive state of mind. And let me tell you, it was refreshing to watch a movie like this in 2023. Uh, because most movies nowadays are pretty cynical, probably too much so, right? But that's not to say that it's all unicorns and rainbows in this film. You know, this director's last film or previous film, Tremble All You Want, did have a serious dramatic streak within it. And Hold Me Back also has that streak, although maybe not quite as intense. Uh, that element helps to balance things out, helps to create a multi-dimensional protagonist, and prevents the movie from getting too repetitive. It also adds some genuine emotion, because our protagonist's dilemmas are realistic and relatable. So one reason for this is that this is not just a romance movie. You know, like I said, it's a genre bender. And we get a nice feel for our main protagonist by viewing multiple aspects of her life. You know, from her relationships with people at work, to her bonding with other women and friends, to her methods of relaxing while flying on an airplane, to her vacation in Italy, etc. So this is where, like, the genre bending comes in. And, of course, the romance ultimately takes priority later on during the second half. But there's a lot of other stuff here that keeps things fresh and helps us to appreciate a well-rounded main character. Another thing I really liked was the showcasing of food. Uh, not the main theme or anything, but it's certainly present. You know, food makes an impact in this movie, especially during the opening half. And if you're a newer subscriber to this YouTube channel, you, will no you will, may not know that I'm a big fan of movies that feature delicious food. And Hold Me Back has some of that. Now, the lead actress, Reina Nonin, was 27 years old when filming this, but she looks younger. So it makes her look a little bit too young for a 31-year-old, in my opinion. But in any case, she's really good in this. Uh, super charming and likable. She could pull off the more serious stuff as well. Uh, very similar to my experience watching Mayu Matsuoka in Tremble All You Want, which kind of put her on my radar for, you know, actors to follow in the future. And Reina Nonin is in the same situation now. This is another actor that I'm going to watch out for. You know, I'll check out the filmography once in a while, see what's new, maybe some old stuff I haven't seen, and just check out anything where, where she's the lead, because, I mean, both of these actresses are really good. And uh, I think anyone who watches both of these movies is going to take note of that. And as an added bonus, a popular Japanese actress shows up later on in kind of a, a small supporting role. So look out for her as well. I'm not going to tell you who it is. But yeah, the, uh, the runtime for this movie could have been a problem at over two full hours, but there's more than enough content to where it doesn't become a problem. I didn't think it was a problem at all. So Hold Me Back is another one of those kind of contemporary Japanese films from the last few years that, you know, is directed by a woman with a lead female character, very female-centric film, but it plays to everyone. I think everyone can kind of appreciate this because it's so well-made and it's just interesting to watch. And it is quite funny as well. 
you know, the comedy does does shine through quite well. I'm, I'm pretty impressed uh, by this director, Akiko Oku. So she's definitely uh, a director I'm going to follow. Maybe try to check out some of her other films if I can, but uh, they seem to be a little bit difficult to find. But I'm telling you, if you do a little double feature of these two films, both of which are streaming on Asian Crush, the streaming site, you may have to sign up for like a $5 me uh, monthly membership like I did, but... It's it's worth it. I think these are two uh, really good Japanese flicks from recent years that are pretty fun to watch. And uh, as always, folks, I'll see you next time.